Look at this. We could have built a new crypto in this squalor. But you chose the humans over us. I exist only to protect crypto. That is the sole purpose for which I was born. And every action I take, no matter how violent or how cruel, is for the great. I know some of you guys experience this, but like, you know, when you're sitting down and you know that you're not tired, like, you know, at the end of the day, where you finally get to sit down and you're like actually exhausted, so it feels good and rewarding. But you know, when you like sit down or like relax and you know you're not supposed to be relaxing and you should probably be doing something, if my job is to go to the gym and then maybe like edit some videos sometimes. What else am I supposed to do? And you guys would probably ask that, like, what do you do if you're not going to the gym? And it's actually pretty difficult to find things to do because, like, I've made this my whole career and I've kind of sacrificed a lot of things. And you guys know if you guys have a really successful career or maybe you guys are doing well at your work or you have a successful career, you guys know that you guys have to sacrifice things, maybe everything, to be at the top or try to be, you know, better. And, um... I feel like I've just sacrificed so many things in my life that um, now that I look back on it, I kind of regret a little bit and it's difficult, man, because I've missed out on a lot of friendship. I didn't have many friends growing up and I also just didn't do much of any kind of work outside of the gym. I put really everything into this and I dropped out of college and um, I dropped out of college when I had, I think, like 10,000 followers on Instagram. So. I didn't even know if I was going to make it. I wasn't really making any money from it, obviously, but I decided to drop out. And, um, yeah, it's just hard to find things to do um, outside of the gym if it's your only passion. And I encourage you guys to try to find hobbies and try to be productive outside of the gym because it's de you'll see, if you've been doing this long enough, you'll see that going to the gym isn't always, you know, going to fulfill everything. I don't think any human being on the earth is really created like that. So just try your best to find things to do outside of the gym that make you happy and keep you occupied. And if you find yourself, you know, sitting on your ass and not really doing anything when you know you should be, but you still do it anyway, that's me like all the time. I don't think anybody's gonna know, but I just took the biggest piss um, on the side of this building and there's like literally 30 cars here at least. So, unfortunately, bro, it was a long one, too. It was like 25 seconds, which I think that's, I think that's a record-breaking pee. I mean, 25 seconds in pee time, bro. Yeah, I'm super tired now. I don't know why. But maybe because I'm not taking as much pre-workout. This is, what, like a scoop of stim, but stim has like, stim has like 400 milligrams of caffeine, which is like two monsters, I guess, equivalent. So, Batman, gosh damn it. I dropped all my pre-workout. Nice, I just dropped half my pre-workout on the ground. I'm gonna go in the gym now. And um, I don't know, I feel like I prepared really well today and there wasn't much for me to do else. Like I literally eat all day, I don't really do anything else. And I just make sure I'm getting all my food in. I don't know, I just feel kind of snapped up a little bit. I don't know why because usually I feel really full from all the food I'm eating but 
for some reason this time, I wasn't, I don't know, my lower back feels a little weird, so hopefully I feel good. I'm tired, but we gotta do what we gotta do, man. And I'm not gonna give up on anything, so. It was great just watching every day was like a privilege. Then the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Oh man, I'm so tired, bro. I think since I've been training like so intensely the past few weeks, I mean like you can tell because of my cold and like I'm just getting a little bit weaker. Every so often I'll be weak for like, like a day out of like a month. It's just because I'm training so intensely and uh, I don't really take like deloads or anything like that that most people take. Um, I just train as hard as I can like every session, which probably, I mean, isn't good for your body, especially at my younger age, I want like, longevity and everything like that. But that's not what I'm doing and uh, maybe I should so I can live longer maybe. <laughs> but if I was just to like show you guys my good days, I don't think that would be pretty authentic of me. So I'd like to show you guys the days that you know aren't that good and uh, I have trouble with because one of these days um, was today and it was just difficult to go through it but I know I gotta do it and work hard. When you're in there bro and you don't think anybody's noticing and uh, nobody sees your hard work bro, just remember there's somebody upstairs that is uh, watching your every move bro and he's really proud of you so yeah bro but i'm feeling it today so it's just how it is boys it's just how it is so we're gonna keep going and um we're gonna do our best to finish this up so look at this we could have built a new crypto in this squalor but you chose the humans over us i exist only to protect Krypton. That is the sole purpose for which I was born. And every action I take, no matter how violent or how cruel, is for the greater good of my people. We could have built a new Krypton in this squalor, but you chose the humans over us. I exist only to protect Krypton. That is the sole purpose for which I was born. And every action I take, no matter how violent or how cruel, is for the greater good of my people. And now it's for the greater good of my people. It's for the greater good, the greater good of my people. I don't even know if I'm gonna leave this leave this part in. Um, all right, so I took five hours at the gym and was not expecting to go that long at all. I was expecting to go maybe three hours, um, but I decided to shoot a bunch of stuff and try my hardest to make a good video for you guys. And. Um, my brain hurts again, just like last video, at the end where I said my brain hurts and it's hard to like think and stuff. I feel the same and I don't know why. Because I didn't take that much pre-workout this time. Maybe because it's just really late at night and I did a lot of work, plus the workout I did. So I, I really don't know what that deal is, but 
right here we have, to be honest, just complete shit. I don't want to eat this, and um, I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm going to do it anyway because because I want to be better. So we have 10 ounces of chicken, um, 70 ounces of rice, and this is not even close to enough food, but we're going to eat this and probably eat like a pizza or something to get, a, get in a bunch of calories for the night. And um, that will conclude this video. Um, I'm sorry I'm lacking the words and the vocabulary to speak to you guys right now. But um, I have like the worst aching pain right now. I think it's just from how late it is with all like no eating and like how hard I like. I don't know. But yeah, it was a good workout. I think the workout was good. It's just I was very weak. And um, from all the weeks prior, my body is super used to the intensity. Um, so it kind of like took a little break today. And my body does that. It's done that like a good once a month. And then after that, it's usually, you know, back to normal. So I assume training and the intensity and strength, everything like that will be back to normal as is. But yeah, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed or learned something. If you guys did, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys like my hair as well. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.